Good evening everyone, this is Chris Saraga for the 365. I am up here at beautiful Bidwell Marina, an old hangout of mine, and I thought I'd show you the view from the other side of the lake, so here we go. There we go, that is a full shot of Bidmill Marina from about uh, 80 feet up. So this marina is actually the main marina, marina of the lake right now. Um, there is a second one, Lime Saddle, which I've recorded from before, but this one has always been the premier one. And as you can see, there are quite a few boats moored up here right now. I'm gonna pan you to the, what is that? To the south first. You can see we got boats moored just way out there. And then I'm gonna pan you to the north. A little slower so you can catch it all. So to orient you guys a little bit before I take off on my flight here, that way in the distance, in the center of your screen, that is the Bidwell Bridge. That's where I recorded from a few weeks ago, or I guess a couple, uh, a week or so ago. So let's get you out over it. Let's get you out over the lake. We'll kind of go, we'll kind of go out towards the, over the marina first. As always, it's a gorgeous day out here in the lake. Okay, I'm going to stop us right here and get a kind of a good look right down there. So right there, that's the sailboat slip. I used to own a sailboat and I would be out here every single day, all day, uh, sailing, cleaning that boat, going, doing all kinds of stuff. There were sailboat races. I mean, it is just a really great place, a fun community. And also, I should probably back us up a little bit and show you that this right there in the center of your screen, that right there is the kind of the clubhouse where they have a little barbecue you can get some drinks and stuff also that's where you can get supplies while you're on the lake doing doing stuff it's really a great place you should definitely check it out so let's get out but where we really want to go right we want to go out over the water we want to see what this lake is right like right now so let's do that let's get us out over the water please. so I'm going to take us towards the Bidwell Bridge we are traveling sort of northeast, I would say. And as you can see, although there was a lot of boats moored near the marina, there is an absolute ton of boats moored out from the marina. We're gonna kind of fly over the top of those. So while I'm flying, what you're looking at is the Orville Lake at 817 feet above sea level. So that's actually a pretty good amount of water still. Uh, I've been in this lake when it's way less than that. Um, as, I, as I've said lots of times, their, app, their goal is to actually have um, the lake down at 770 feet. So they've got quite a ways to go, but they're doing good. As of today, the uh, output is 1,200 cubic, I'm sorry, 12,000 cubic feet per second, and the um, input's only 6,000 cubic feet a second, so they are really making headway on this. Look at that, it's just gorgeous. It's just amazing the amount of boats that are out here. It's always surprised me. It was really fun sailing in between them to get out to the main body of the lake, and I'll see if I can fly us out to the main body of the lake. That's actually quite far away. So I don't want to go too far. Flies out towards the bridge a little bit here. Just for a quick perspective shot, I'm going to turn us back around and point us towards the marina. So you can see just how many boats are out here at Lake Orville. And you can see just how much commerce this lake generates for the town of Orville. So that is a shot back towards the marina with all of the houseboats and uh, patio boats and just regular uh, motor boats just off into the distance. So let's keep going a little ways. There'll be some bonus video here at the end. I'll go down on the marina and take some shots down there and show you what the slips look like and that kind of stuff. 
the temperature is absolutely perfect today. I would say it's probably right around 78 degrees right now. I mean, it just doesn't get better than that. As I've said the last three ca few casts, I'll be leaving town shortly. That's about a week from today. And be going to Barbados. And I'm going to be filming and documenting all that. I'm still trying to figure out if I can use my drone in certain countries and if I can't. But I'll definitely will at least have the steady cam footage from you, which is what you guys have been watching. I'm also thinking about doing a video on um, what equipment I use to do this, uh, this reporting. So that might be interesting for some of you. I don't know about most of you, but I'm a big gearhead. So I really enjoy being able to see the tech that people use in order to do this kind of stuff. There we go. Just And as you can see, I'm quite far out there. And there's still boats forever to go. I'm going to get us up a little higher. We're at about 86 feet right now. Look at that. So, let me orient you a little bit. So that direction right there, right past, directly that way, right over that small mountain, that is the Orville Dam, it actually makes that. Uh, I might fly us back and get us over that a little bit in a few minutes. Uh, this, that direction right there is one of the forks of the Feather River. I'm sorry, I, I don't have the best memory. I don't know which fork that is right now. I will try to post it maybe in comments on this video. And then, of course, through the Bidwell Bridge is another fork of the Feather River, and that can be seen quite clear from there. So let's actually see if I can get up higher and get a view of the dam from there. I don't know if I can. I am, I am limited by FAA li rules to only go 400 feet up, so I do not want to go anywhere close to that. So I'll go about 350, just for a real quick peek over. See if we can get a get you guys a glimpse of the dam. Yeah, I guess at this time of day you don't have to worry about them checking. <laughs> okay. That's about 350 feet. Let's see if we can go forward a little bit. I also don't want the mountain to occlude the signal of my remote. forward. waiting to see if I get the reveal shot or not. Please, at any point, give me a little bit of a hint of what you guys would like to see. I'd be happy to show you anything. Yeah, we may not be able to see the dam from there. We're getting close, we're getting close. So I think what you can see there way off in the distance, that's actually the spillway boat launch, which is now no longer in use. It won't be in use for two years. The DWR needed that area in order to repair the dam. Oh, I think we're getting it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so in the center of your screen there, that is the corner of Table Mountain. So that is the, right underneath that is the spillway launch ramp. And then what you can see is just the barely beginnings of the dam itself. Let's see if I can get us scooted over a little bit more. I don't want to go too much farther. There we go. So that is what all the fuss is about. The largest earth-filled dam in the United States. And what you're looking at, as I said before, is the uh, um, water is at 817 feet above sea level right now. 
Yeah, there we go. Nice shot of the dam for you guys from the backside. You don't often get this view unless you're actually a boater, so really happy to be able to bring that to you guys. Hey, I'm going to darken this up a tiny bit. There we go. So we can get a little bit better view. That's much better. Alright. So that. That's what I got for you guys today. As always, like, share, and subscribe. There will be some bonus footage for you guys. At the end of this video. If you have any comments, please leave those. Like or dislike on the YouTube channel. That's always important. Tells the YouTube people if I'm doing a good job or not for y'all. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. This is for the bonus footage here. Coming back to the marina after viewing the Orville Dam there. Water is just gorgeous today. We got quite a flight back. I think we'll try to get right over the top of those boats on the way back. It's been a heck of a day to fly. I really enjoy flying out here. I mean, the number of boats is just, it's just so impressive from the air. I mean, I don't know the actual number, but there's obviously hundreds out here. Ah, and also for the bonus footage people, what would you like to see of the trip to Barbados? That's the real question there. What kind of things would you like me to videotape or to show you guys? What, you know, what would you like to learn about Barbados? And we're also going to uh, St. Kitts, St. Lucia, San Juan, Puerto Rico, and a few other islands. So if there's anything you'd like to see about, I'll go through the list of those and I'll go through the whole list of all the places that we're visiting in a future cast. Yeah, there we go. We're right over the top of all those boats. Look at that. Just lined up as far as you can see. Man, what a gorgeous day. Yeah, we'll come back right over the top of all these boats there. If you can see down there, they're not just buoys that some of these houseboats are moored onto, but they're actually little docks. The smaller boats, they keep closer to the marina in general. Yeah, I always loved it out here. Look at that. Amazing. Could watch it all day. Oh, I should also add that I believe that is the Loafer Creek launch ramp right there. Oh, time to start to come back home.